All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff here. I'm going to try to make this real quick, straight to the point. Um, many people are still having some major issues trying to figure out how to print these documents correctly. Um, I know I've covered it and other people have covered it. So if everything goes right, I'm going to show y'all how you need to print and what the issue is when you're trying to print. Um, as I've shared many times, and I, th I don't know if anybody else has shared this, but I know I've shared it. You do not need to print from the browser. You need to save the document to your hard drive in a folder and print from there inside of Adobe Acrobat DC. All I can say is people may be trying to take shortcuts. People aren't listening. People just trying to do their own thing. You know, you're in a rush. You didn't try to practice this beforehand. I don't know. I'm going to show you what the problem is. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you, hopefully, and help you understand the correct way to do this. Now, what you do is going to be up to you. But if you follow what I'm saying in this, I'm telling you, you will not have a problem printing at all. And the only other way you if you do have a problem printing, that means you didn't set the printer up correctly, telling the paper, telling which trade up you paper, um, whether letter or legal. You have to tell the printer whether you want the first trade of print legal or the first the second trade of print legal or letter or however you want. It doesn't matter. If you're trying to use the flip out thing, this is only going to take about 50 pages. You have to tell it this is called um, MP, I think, or MP tray. You have to tell the printer that this tray is set to letter or legal. So that when the when you run it, it will know that when it comes across a legal piece of paper, pull it from here or letter, pull it from here. You cannot just say, oh, do it. And it does it without you telling the printer how to do that and you go online and you can find out how to do it it's on it's it's right up there online okay just hll 6400 6200 5200 you know um setting paper tray plenty of examples out there that's why i haven't done one because they're out there already okay so let me share my screen All right. What you are looking at right now is my Google Drive. I have a redacted document here that um, I've already used to show y'all how to go through the documents and all of that. And I'm going to have to do something else again because people are still messing that up. They still <clears throat> don't understand the notarizations and asking questions that were answered in the video. And and I don't understand, I personally don't understand why. Um, when it comes to the notarization, I, that has to be, we got to get that clear for y'all, okay? But right now I'm dealing with the print thing. So in this case, I'm going to save this document down, okay? So this would be just like you downloading a document, however you download it from SnapDocs, signing order, signature, whoever. So I hit download. When you download, you need to tell it to go somewhere. You need to put it in a folder that you can get. Do not stick it over here in just the big area of all your documents. Create a folder, okay? Now, what I do is simply put, I have this folder here, um, Griffin Notary. Under Griffin Notary, I have 2021. And I'm gonna do it right here for you. So I have my main folder there, I got 2021. Inside of 2021 is the folders for, you know, uh, Earl Jones um, signing service, okay? So there's a signing service called Earl Jones signing service. Um, AB, ABC notaries. And if somebody's out there named that, I wasn't picking on you. I don't even know you exist. 
I'm just making stuff up. ABC Notary. So you got these different notary companies, okay? So in this case, I'm working with Earl Jones. Earl Jones. And Earl Jones, I have, I just use my last name, Griffin. And under Griffin, and inside of Griffin, so in 2021, there's a file, for, there's a folder for Earl Jones. Earl Jones is a signing company that I'm getting orders from. And every order that I get from Earl Jones is going in that folder. And in this case, there's a customer named Griffin. If there's two Griffins, then you just add the first name or however you want to do it, as long as you find a way to denote it. And then inside of here, I'm sticking Mr. Griffin's folder, I mean file. So his file is in there. That is where it's at. So 2021 for this year, the company, so that means you have multiple companies that you dealt with in 2021. And then inside of those multiple, those companies folders are the clients that you are doing signings for. A real simple and easy way to set it up. Okay. Now, at this point, y'all see down here at the bottom, it says, VA Loan Depot redacted, okay? What you are doing, what most people are doing is simply this. They are clicking on this document and opening it up from here. You're opening it up from here and you're seeing it and it's like, oh, okay. And what you see here is the full document, okay? You see everything, okay? Let me help you out with that. So this here is this same document opened up in Adobe Acrobat. Okay, here's the file name up here at the top. This is the same exact document. As you see, this is the same document. It is fully, let me pull that down a little bit. As you see, you see all of that? You see all of that, okay? So this is page two. That's page two, okay? Let me move this all to the side. So as you look through here, let me drop this down a little bit. As you look through here, you see the full document. You see everything. Oh, wow, I see everything. Everything is here. You see everything on this here, page eight. Uh, da, 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 da. Page eight, okay? you see everything all right you see all of that you see all of that this is page eight the affiliate business arrangements you see everything okay now here's where the problem comes in that you are trying to print from here you do not need to print from here you should not print from here do not print from here it's that simple so you hit print and then you get the preview page and then you start scrolling through and then look at here. I wish I could move this down, but it tells you right here, page two. What do we see here on page two? John, it gets cut off. It is auto automatically cut off. So when you hit print, it's printing everything on letter. You say, well, I wanna do it on legal. The only way that I can think of to do it on legal, well, the only way you can do it on legal is that you would have to change it here. That's the only way. Only way. Period. Okay. Now, I haven't tried this, and there's something I'm going to try, and y'all going to see whether it works or not live here. Let me move that paper out of the way for that closing tomorrow. So, you see, it's cut off. Let's go back just so you can see for yourself. Here's page two. This is page two, right there, there's the number two. It is cut off. All of this down here is cut off for that page, okay? And as you go through here, you will see the same thing. You get down here to page eight, the affiliated business arrangement that we saw over here on this other one, it is cut off, okay? So do not print from here, okay? You need to save it and open it up in Adobe Acrobat 
and then you print it. Now, I'm going to try something here. I meant to do it before the video and I forgot to do it, but what the heck. This here thing says print using system dialog. What I hope, and it may work, it may not. What I hope is that when I click on this, as I'm clicking now, it comes up to the printer. So I got the printer selected. What I'm hoping is that it will print, and I'm gonna do pages one through eight, because I know those have the legal in there. Hopefully it will print letter and legal. If it does, then problem solved. If it does not, then you gotta open it up in Adobe Acrobat. It's that simple. So over here to home wireless and I haven't played with any other settings and it's kicked in and then hopefully I will see some legal papers pop out of here. If I do not, let me stop share. Nothing. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Will we get it? Nah. Uh, thought we did, y'all. Come on, come on. Come on, push it out for me. Come on. It did not. So, nope. You printed everything on letter. As you can see, it's cut off. You can see it right there, it's cut off. So, that doesn't work. So, what you have to do after you download it, let me go back to share. After you download it, just click that X and get rid of it. Do not open it up here, okay? It's that simple. Do not open it up here. What you need to do, where's my Adobe? As I've shared with you many, many times before, I think many times, close that. You open it up in Adobe. And then from Adobe, when you hit print, this here, choose paper source by PDF's page size. You have to have that selected. If you do not have that selected, it is going to print on whatever you have set up down here in page setup. If you have it set to letter or you have it set to legal, that's what it's going to print on. So you need to print, put in Adobe, open it up in Adobe DC, and then make sure that this option is selected. If you do this, you will be fine. So, let me do it on grayscale. And if everything works right and it doesn't embarrass me, then y'all saw my lights flicker. This thing pulls a lot of power. Comes um, illegal. I can hear it when it pulls. See when it hits that little thing there, that's legal. Boom. Another legal. And then the last one, legal. Yep. So you can clearly see letter legal. All right. This is what you need to do. After this, if you don't understand, I don't know what anybody can do for you. I'm not trying to be funny because there's a ton of videos out there that talk about this. I've talked about it and I'm specifically dealing with it right now. So after this, if you are still having problems printing, then it has to be something deeper. I don't know. It, the only other thing I can think of is that you don't have this set up properly you don't have your printer set up properly. It's that simple, okay? So if somebody comes back and say, well, I can, it prints, then it may be something with your printer that it recognizes or your software or something, I don't know. But tons of people have been trying to do it from the browser and it's not working. 
if you can get it to work, then do a video. Let me and the rest of the world know so we can learn from you and maybe that can save us some time and effort. But I don't know what else to say, okay? That's it for now, all right? I'm gonna go eat my macadamia nut cookies over here in the corner and um, try to call it a night. Peace.